Now we have a, a basic understanding of what uh, the many use of Google Site. Okay, basically, Google Site is a website you can, which you can use for your classroom, for project assignments, uh, for e-portfolio. And uh, for those people who want to create some projects, uh, they can also use a Google Site to create web, uh, websites to keep track of their, those, uh, their project milestone. But before you start using Google Site, okay, you need to have a Google account. Okay? So for those of you who do not have a Google account, you need to go to this URL, mail.google.com, to sign up for one Google account. So if you got a Google account, please log in to this URL, site.google.com. We're going to learn how to create a website. Okay, once you log in with it, you should be able to see this a website looks something like this one. Let me sh flash up my, my website. My browser. Okay. I need everyone to log in to the Google site first before I can proceed. Is everyone able to log in to the Google site? Uh, just stay at this page, then I will walk through together how to create a website. Are you at this page? Okay, once you log you are able to log in, stay there. I'll split I'll explain step by step how to create a website. Okay, I can see most of them already log in. Okay, once you log in ready, this one I call it uh, the home page of Google site. The whole thing you call a home page of Google site. Okay, well, what you see on your screen and mine can be quite different. Okay, for mine, because I got a lot of Google site created by myself, or some people create uh, uh, the Google site shared to me, they will all be listed here. They will all be listed here. Either I create myself or some uh, chat to me will be listed here. So for yours, maybe it could be blank or maybe one or two sites. Okay, so do, if you do not see any website, that means you haven't created any website and also no one has shared any website to you. Okay, so for, for us, we, for this session, we're going to learn how to create a website. Okay, to create a website, you need to click on this create button. Okay, once you click on create button, okay, you'll be given an option okay, to create a website based on a blank template. You see here, this one is highlighted. This one is actually a, a blank template. When we say blank template, mean you're creating a website, that means everything is blank. It's a website, but everything is blank. Okay, that's what we mean, blank template. Or you, are also, or you can also give an option to create a website based on all these templates, like classroom site, soccer team, if you want more, you can click on Browse Gallery for more. You can see a list of templates that is being categorized as business, collaboration, activity, school and education, cloud organizations, personal families, governments, nonprofits. Okay, so it's all up to your requirements. Okay, it's all up to your requirement. Supposing I'd like to create one based on this template called Outdoor Club Template. Okay, let's say I want to create a website based on this template, I will select this one. Okay. This one is just for demonstration. You need not necessarily must follow me. Okay. Because later on for practice sessions, we're going to create a website based on a blank one so that we can build up our skill okay, on how to edit page, how to edit page, and so on. When I, say, when I select this template, I will click on this Preview template, okay. Once that preview template, let's say I want to see a template like this one, let's, and I find that it's suitable for me. What I will do is, on the top, you can see this button called Use Template. I select this one. Okay, when I select this one, you can see that this template is being highlighted. Okay, what I will do is, I need to give a name for this website. Probably I'll say, I'll give my name, Outdoor. I'll give a name for my, for my website. Then below, i put in my security code. Then I click on Create Button. Okay, but sometimes the website, the URL is being taken up, it's been, uh, been used by somebody, then they will not allow you. So you probably have to add some other things, like uh, numbers. Then I click on this create button again. Mm -hmm. 
As a website is being created, it takes about a few seconds. As you can see here on top, it's still creating. Okay. Notice here, I just created a website based on this template called Outdoor. Okay. In fact, in less than five minutes, I'm able to create a website. Notice that? It's very, very fast. With just a few click button, you can create a website. But for today's sessions, we're going to create a website based on a blank template. Okay. So what I demoed to you just now is for your information. So later on, when you go back, you have free time, you can try on your own. Okay. So let's say right now we're going to create a new a, a blank uh, website. Okay. We choose this one, this blank template. Then you give a name for your website. Okay. For today and for ease of uh, everybody to follow each other on the same pace, I suggest that maybe we can create a website, okay, like something like this one. Because recently we, we find that there's a panda from China, Jia Jia Kai Kai, come to Singapore Zoo, okay, we maybe can create a website something like this one, okay. So in this website, we can have this welcome page. Calendar that tell people what are activities for the panda. Contact us, then you can tell people where is the locations of the zoo. You can also insert a feedback form. Put in some gallery, okay, for your panda picture. A YouTube on the panda. You can also create a page that allow you to post some announcement to inform your fans. Probably you can also include some research paper, resources like people maybe they're interested in your club, can put some forms like the club information uh, brochure, reg registration forms, and so on. Okay, so probably we can set ourselves with a common goal, we create something like uh, with a purpose. Okay, from there we start to build up the skill. So for, so for us to create a website, let's go back to here. Okay, are you at this page? Okay, once you're at this page, give a name for your website. Okay. Maybe I say Singapore Panda. Singapore Panda Club. Okay. After you give a name below, you are required to key in your security code. After keying your security code, you click on the create button here. The create button here. Okay, once you're able to successfully create a website, you should see something like this one. It's actually a blank website. For your information, for those people, we find that when after you give a name for a website, it doesn't go through, it's because the name is it's been taken up. They may be used by somebody else. So you need to give a different name. Okay, maybe add a little number behind so that you will be able to get through. 